I am Dr. Milin Mesra, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Chemistry, KT Champale, Nasik. In the last lecture, we have seen the carbon-carbon disconnections, which involves the alkyne chemistry. Thereafter, we have seen one-two carbon-carbon disconnections, where we have seen the carbon and chemistry. So, uh, in today's lecture, we will discuss the one-two carbon-carbon disconnections where in that disconnection this carbon and chemistry we will see so let us have this uh, example So it is a drug that prevents the uh, viruses like polio viruses. Okay. So it is a uh, it is an oral diabetes. Okay, with an activity against the DNA RNA viruses. So let us have its structure. If you break this bond, okay, 
so this two carbon this disconnection is two carbon away from this carbonyl group okay that's why this is one two disconnection so this how you will spot this disconnection like this the this kind of this sort of disconnection how would you uh, recognize okay so uh, we have to find out the attachment of alkyl group okay at the second carbon so it becomes one to disconnections okay so let us have this fragments so after disconnecting this bond carbon carbon bond so we will get two fragments so first fragments would be
so after disconnecting this bond that is one two disconnection so we would end uh, we would get this two synthons so this two synthons can be translated to their respective chemical equivalents then after having this uh, substrate we would again disconnect this ether linkage okay so after disconnecting that cu bond so we would get this two uh, starting material so this is how the retrosynthetic analysis for this particular available molecule okay so let us have its synthesis we have got phenol and dibromohexane okay so we have this phenol treat it with base and this
is the synthesis started with the phenol when phenol reacts with base okay then followed by the treatment of dibromohexane it gives this bromoderivative so in this uh, in the synthesis of arildol alkyl iodide has been used so this bromoderivative is converted into alkyl iodide okay uh, with the aid of sodium iodide then uh, uh, then in the last step the treatment of this alkyl iodide this diketone so it gives this our uh, uh, target molecules okay so this synthesis in all the carbon and chemistry okay so uh, since we have used diketone compound in this synthesis so let us have the other topic that deals with the carbon and chemistry okay uh, so let's move to the other topic that deals with the uh, malonate chemistry so we know the malonate chemistry is a useful way in controlling the uh, enolization of various carbonyl compounds so uh, we can use ethyl acetate and malonate ester so in this malonate chemistry we can do alkylation followed by decarboxylation of acetoacetic and uh, malonate ester so uh, let us see its uh, synthol so these two synthons so this synthon can be used for this reagent okay acetoacetate so and this synthon which is having the uh, negative charge uh, over this carbon atom so it is used for this malonate ester so uh, let us have the example which involves so this chemistry okay so here we can use this could be ethyl diethyl malonate okay so let us have the example which in all this synthol 
So this is our target molecule. So when when you look at this molecule carefully, so you would recognize this carbon carbon disconnection. All right. So let us put this retrosynthetic arrow. So one two disconnection. As I mentioned it before, two carbon, okay, from this carbonyl. So one two disconnection, carbon carbon bond disconnection. So we would get this two thymines.